because because of Google Architect program, I am cloud higher. See you! I, uh, <clears throat> so my name is uh, Ivan Tamba. That's my short name. The full name is Romanic Ivan Tamba Tayo. Uh, I live in Atlanta, uh, Georgia, in the United States. Um, I'm originally from Cameroon. It's a country located in Central Africa. <clears throat> so I joined the Group Cloud uh, Architect uh, program in, uh, that was late August uh, 2020, no, sorry, 2021. So, uh, like, uh, my, up my upcoming job is I will be, uh, I will start as an associate solution architect at AWS. I will have that role for a year. And then during my second year, I'm going to become a, what you call a partner solution architect. So during my first year as an associate, my role will pretty much be the first six months, will pretty much be about, uh, learning a little bit more about AWS, right? About all the different services, sorry, and how to bring them together and how to create like a cost, very a cost efficient service uh, architecture. And then the second six months of the first year, I will join a partner station architect team and I will start having a little bit of input to the team and kind of learn how uh, how uh, AWS works, right? How, what are they doing with the different partner and how, um, how the system works in, in general. So my input uh, for the first six months, like I say, is mostly about learning more about AWS in the second six months and start having some input. But right now, I don't know yet for the second six months what type of, what level of input I'm going to have to, to to deliver. But I know that during the second year, I'll be a partner, I'll become a partner station architect. That will be my role. And therefore, I'll be able to now to design uh, enterprises uh, architecture. Uh, regarding the salary, uh, uh, if I want to, if I have to compare my upcoming salary with uh, my um, <clears throat> with a salary, I think is probably five, five times, five times. Yeah, it's five, five times what I could make if I was working full time as a server. Because I never really worked full time as a server; it was always part time. But it will be five times. But the big, the real comparison that I can have will be, for example, for some of my classmates, right? Because I go to Georgia Tech, and I'm going to have a degree in computer engineering. And uh, uh, my salary, so if you can do your own research, but uh, the average, um, my salary is gonna be uh, almost, yeah, I think twice, you're gonna be pretty much twice what uh, a computer engineer, like an average computer engineer from Georgia Tech uh, can make uh, just out of college. Because it's like, it's not computer engineering, like I say, it's search and architect. So yeah, so when I joined the program, uh, uh, that August, I was starting, uh, I was just started my last uh, year as a senior in, in college. And at the time, still right now, I'm working, I was working uh, as a waiter uh, in a restaurant. So that was, that was back in uh, summer, uh, summer 2021. Uh, during the summer, I was, I, when I was pre preparing, because uh, during the summer 2021, I took the uh, AWS Associate Station Architect and the professional uh, certificate, I took both. So when I was preparing for the uh, professional and associate, that's when I, I came uh, across a, a Google Architect uh, a video on YouTube, was precisely by, uh, uh, was Mike presenting different uh, aspects of cloud. And I was kind of, um, I was very attracted by what I, uh, what I saw from the perspective that it wasn't only talking about services, right? Because at the time I was also taking uh, courses on Udemy to prepare for those exams. And it was mostly centric around uh, services, right? But I never really have the big idea or the whole perspective of what cloud computing is, right? And at that time, seeing Mike talking about the cloud, but talking about it deeply and talking about the cloud from, from the beginning, like different stuff that they didn't, I wasn't even aware and also how to put service services together. That's how I came across the Google Architect. And that's how I decided to, that's why I wanted to join the program because I found through this video that there was a lot of insight that I wasn't getting from those courses on Udemy. So yeah, so what 
made me decide to really join the program. One thing was uh, I watched was a video of Mike. He was explaining, for example, how what can set you apart from other candidates apply for the social architect position. And in that video, he kind of explained that uh, if you, for example, you do some some lab right beside the lab that you you can do on on AWS as a free tier, there's also certain like that you can do uh, using, for example, Linux server. The fact that you have to get yourself used to using a Linux system instead of a Windows, right? That was one thing. And also about the fact that you can do your own cloud because that was an idea that I never really think about it, like thought about it before. And I was like, yo, so I can really build my own cloud. And he said, if you join our program, you can buy your server, you can do this all different type of live, you can build a container, you can build those virtual machines. So that was one part of the program. And I was like, that's something that I can really get my hands dirty beside of just uh, learning services on full courses on Udemy. That was a, well, that was one part. The other part was when um, he was talking about uh, social skills, you know, coming from an engineering background, because I'm right now finishing my uh, degree in computer engineering. I never really uh, thought about the social skill like presentation, uh, executive communication and be able to engage with other people, be able to tune in the other, other people's emotion and become like a leader. So those like all the social skills that he listed that he can uh, he can teach me or he can teach, right? He's teaching actually to people through his program. And I was like, that's something that also I'm not getting through all those courses on Udemy and even at school, right? Because even at school, uh, we don't teach about executive communication, about all those social skills. And I was really interested about that on top of all the technical uh, uh, technical uh, uh, knowledge that I can get. And the third thing I would say was um, was cloud computing in general, you know, because when you take courses on Udemy most of the time, like I say, or the Udemy or other platform is mostly centric, like I say, around services. And uh, Mike was very knowledgeable, right? He was, he was able to explain how you can have all those different layers of security to protect your, your VPC or to protect your system, right? And all those different aspects that you were talking, coming back from what was there before even the cloud existed, right? So he was starting with the part and bring it now and kind of create a bridge between what was there and between uh, what was there before the cloud and the cloud. And that was something that I've I kind of find very interesting. And that's why I wanted to join the program to kind of deepen my knowledge in all the different uh, aspects. Oh yeah, that, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Uh, I think the uh, GoCloud Architect has helped me to be prepared for my upcoming role. Like I think um, pretty much, uh, I, I pretty much learned everything about uh, uh, cloud computing at GoCloud Architect. Uh, the first thing, one of the first thing I can say is my technical knowledge. Uh, uh, I'm very knowledgeable about cloud computing, and that can. Uh, uh, and one of the feedback or two feedback that I have during my my interview with AWS was the fact that um, coming from different interviewers, the fact that uh, based on I was more than enough, uh, I have more than enough technical skill for the position. That's what I received as a feedback from uh, the technical interviewer during the the interview with AWS. And so that's one thing that I get from either from Google Architect, right? And now if it come to presentation to be able to to bring myself to sell myself, you know, I when I grew drink Google uh, got architect, I wasn't very writing for, was kind of like something very difficult for me, right? Now today I have a blog where I recently write a post about cloud computing, right? So that's something that I kind of say I get, I did get from the program, the ability to brand, to have like to create a brand for myself and to be able to write easily because as a session architect, your core, for example, working for AWS, you have to write a lot of uh, a lot of blog, like to talk about AWS, talk about the different services. So that's something that I get from, I got from the, from the program. Another thing I would say, uh, my, uh, uh, beside my technical knowledge, pretty much also my social skills, right? Because before that, I was kind of very reluctant, you know, coming out like I have a computer engineering background, right? So I never really have to learn. So I learned in the program how to talk so that someone from an eighth uh, or ninth grade can really understand me, right? Be able to explain a concept, to explain um, a service 
so that uh, like at a very low level, like an executive level, right? So that everyone can understand it. No, don't use jargon and also be able to present the same thing also as an engineer level, right? Depend on my audience, learn about my audience, learn about who I'm presenting to. So that's something that I, I learned from the program as well as social skills, right? Be able to act as a leader, to present myself as a leader, to uh, sell myself a, as a leader. And um, another thing I can say I got from the program was the uh, the community, you know, because um, being in a class as a, as a senior in college, surrounded by people who have done more than 15, 20 years of experience in database security uh, uh, and different aspects of cloud is something that uh, I learned a lot and I kind of learned very quick because all those people during all during the class and doing all the different uh, working on different projects, they were able to put to have those those input and I was able to really just pick up from otherwise from everything coming from them. And that's something that you might not I don't have it in college, right? I'm not surrounded by people who have 15 or 20 years of experience as a classmate. And that's something that I got from the program, which really helped me to kind of get this uh, position and become a better solution architect. I'll, um, that's a great question. Uh, I'll say the impact of Go for the Architect uh, in my life uh, has been uh, very significant. Uh, the first component uh, of it, right, is my ability. Now I feel more confident when I speak. I feel uh, I've learned about how to uh, tune my communication um, uh, based on my audience or uh, regarding my audience. That's something. So I've learn how to become a better communicator like right? that that's something other thing uh that i get from the program is a community you know today i'm i have uh, many people that i know many friends some people become brothers and sisters that uh two weeks ago i was having a, a breakfast with one of the uh a teammate i can say at Gokadai that i met at Gokadai architect and i was kind of mentoring him and kind of letting him like working with him so he can also uh, land a position. So that's something that uh, that leader thing, right? That leader position that I also got from the program with all the community and people that I can help. And another thing that I get from the program as an impact in my life is my LinkedIn uh, uh, family. You know, now I'm very active on LinkedIn and before that, that wasn't, that wasn't the case. So I also have that big support to LinkedIn and that's something which has all, also very uh, has a big impact in my life and i'll say the last thing probably is the um, is the change in in position right when i started the program i was only someone with two associate and professional uh aws certification station architect uh but now i am a, a i'm a six-figure earner right and uh, that's i think that's a, maybe the five or ten percent of america are only five or ten percent uh american earner so that's something that has a lot of impact in my life. So I can now use that money to support my family and to also help a lot of other people. So I think the impact and the change in my life has been uh, quite, quite significant. I think something I didn't expect, uh, but I did get uh, after joining the program was probably the, uh, the support of the community. You know, when you join the program, uh, I was just thinking. I was just thinking about me going there and learning uh, about cloud computing, so I can get a job. Why right? it was mostly go in, get the knowledge, go out, get a job, and then leave, right? But when I go through through the process, I met people and kind of from a blog with those people. So that's something that I wasn't, I didn't expect going through the program, right? That was one thing. Another thing was I didn't expect to become a, a, a to become a, a mentor, right? I was just expecting to after that program get a job, but now. After I got a job, I have many people from the program, or even outside of the program, people that I've never met through my video, the video that I did with Mike on YouTube and through my different posts on, on LinkedIn. Now I have many people who are kind of reach out to me and asking me to, to help them. So I, I'm kind of the mentor to many people. And that's something that I was like, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Even when it started, I was like, wow, this is kind of, it's bigger than I wanted to talk, right? So that's something that I didn't expect through when I joined the program. And I would say uh, maybe the last thing that I didn't expect when joining the program was um, to have a have a blog, right? I didn't expect that because uh, Mike doing the video that he has on YouTube, he wasn't talking about a blog. 
right? You were just talking about have a brain, but I didn't know that have a brain means also you can translate that to having a, a blog where you can have some different posts. So that's something I wasn't expecting. And today I have a blog, I have a blog which with more than uh, uh, 11 uh, uh, posts and with, with, with very uh, big substance. So now I feel like I'm, I'm a content creator. So I become beside the situation architect. Um, I can also call myself a content creator. And that's something that I wasn't uh, expecting when joining uh, the program. So yeah, so uh, one thing that I want to share with the community is that either uh, if you're already inside the program or you're thinking about joining the program, I just want to let you know that um, this program is very amazing. Uh, I'm the proof of uh, of the of how uh, significant or how uh, great this program is. You know, I'm just I got my job in December 2021. That going through the program just in three months, I was able to get a job. But I didn't get a job because I went. I was in the program. I did get a job because I also did put some effort into it because. Like it is say, a program is only as strong as the person who stop and go and play. So when you're inside this program, take advantage, take advantage of Mike, take advantage of Chris, take advantage of every people inside the program, your classmate, take advantage of all the people with all those remarkable background, that be security and network, they can teach you a lot, right? Take advantage of all that. And I believe that after a two, three, five months, you're also going to get a club, like higher. So you're making a good decision join this program is the best thing that you can do right now and i know that you're gonna you're gonna be uh you're also gonna get a job so through uh thank you to google architect program because because of google architect program i am cloud higher See!